shocker, Shekau's last audio before he died reportedly revealed Boko Pico's sponsors and how they got weapons. According to several reports, Boko people leader Abubakar Shekau died during a clash between a set named Iswa and Boko people insurgents. However, before he left it, Abubakar Shekau disclosed where Boko people got weapons. In a statement to the media, Shekau was quoted as saying, I pledge allegiance to ISIS al Qaeda." After that, he mentioned a man who gave them 50 million with weapons, but could not enlighten it clearly before he blew up himself. In one of Abubakar Shekau's last audio message, as reported by Hom Angle, said he had picked up information on Boko people, Al Qaeda, and ISIS. The newspaper reported that Abubakar Shekau made the unusual statement. In a statement issued shortly after his death, the Boko people leader described the causes of the conflict between him and Iswa. Abubakar Shekau appears to have made the remarks in front of a delegation citing his alleged links to Al Qaeda and his allegiance to ISIS. Basically, when we first went into the desert and settled down, listen to my good explanation. First of all, I pledged allegiance to Al Qaeda, Abaka Shekau said. The former Boko leader then went on to say that there was a young Boko leader who was distributing arms to them in Nigeria and Mali after a trip. The man returned 50 million with weapons. Speaking on the occasion, Shekau did not elaborate on the amount, but that this million had caused a rift in the Boko people movement. Some Boko people fighter, according to Shekau, demanded that they distribute the money to them so that they could use it apparently. He did not agree. Authorities later arrested the man who was helping the Boko leader and jailed him for six months while trying to deliver a message from Mali. Shekau described how he was advised to pledge allegiance to ISIS Abu Barak. In conclusion, the former Boko leader, leader Abubakar Shekau, stated that ISIS and Akada are basically their sponsors, but Maybe the set also has another sponsor. You see, that is it. But then, it's not yet a complete statement. Yeah, it's not yet a complete statement. Abaka Shekau was able to mention the name. Of the group but the name of the people sponsoring the group who are the people that make up Akada and Isis all right now you cannot see that these people are using us for business they are using us for business and nothing more yes that is why when I when, when they said that uh, when Gumi was saying that uh, uh, they, they they are fighting because of because because of what was done to them in the past, you can hear it from Shekau. What is bringing their rift is because of money, and you cannot see why these people keep demanding millions upon millions upon millions from Nigerians through kidnapping. Now I bet you. It is still because of this same um, sharing percentage that brought the death of Abaka Shekau. My dear viewers, you can now see that Nigeria as a country has gone so deep in corruption that even the people that are now killing us happen to be the people that are now part of us. I said it before that the killers of Nigeria are in Asorok, hiding their faces, hiding their faces, playing their face off, extorting from Nigerian hiddenly, 
disguising. They don't want to steal in a way that they will be caught and probed. So they decide to steal criminal criminally in a way that no, nobody can question or challenge them. They know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. And that is why we have to be wise. We have to be wise. No wonder they were kidnapped today. Demand for ransom. After two weeks, they kidnap another one. Demand for ransom. Look at the huge sum of money. See how they trade weapons. See how they trade human beings. Hmm? You can see that. This is why these people are, 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 are demanding for more money day after day. And Nigerians so stupidly will continue giving them. Saying that they will surrender. With this kind of people that are, that are sharing this huge sum of money, you think that they will surrender someday? You think so? Didn't you hear it from a Shekau? That it is the sharing percentage that brought their rift. You see that? So you tell me, how are we going to achieve this? How are we going to achieve this? Our Nigerian army on their own side, instead of them to pay attention to the needful, they keep going into what doesn't invite them. Look at it. And someone around the corner will be comparing Eastern Security Network to, uh, to, 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 the, to the Boko people. Has Eastern Security Network ever, ever kidnapped, kidnapped anybody and demand for ransom? Have they? No. Speak up if, if they have. These are problems. These are problems. So, my dear viewers, you can see things yourself that all these things we are going through is because of uh, is because of the, the way our country Nigerian is. This country is so corrupt that even the people extorting us are now the people that are really that are ruling us. Let me hear from you anyway to know what you have to say about this. If you are new, click on the subscription buttons as well as the subscribe button to receive more updates. Thank you.